Welcome back. Uh, today is just going to be a, probably a shorter video on just a couple things. I want to test this parting and grooving tool that I got on uh, one of the screws I was messing with earlier. Um, maybe I'll make a spike, like a, a big nail. Um, uh, the other thing I wanted to just briefly touch on is uh, when I was machining that aluminum for the tool holder, the chuck key holder, um, I didn't have any, you know, pads to, I didn't want to mar up the material with the, with the uh, chuck jaws because they can be pretty aggressive against softer materials. So I made some copper pads to use um, temporarily. I may make some different ones that are a little bit easier to put in there and they kind of stay put. But for now, uh, my, my brother gave me these old, uh, just some old copper pieces. And I thought, you know, I could probably just use these, cut some pieces off. This is what it came out of. Must've been some sort of guide. They get worn out, I have to replace them. But he was gonna recycle them. And I said, well, let me see if I can use those and it will help me. So I went ahead and just cut six, sanded them, you know, took the rough edges down with a file. And now I've got those and can use those for softer materials when I get into the brass or aluminum. Um, so, you know, something you can make on your own. You don't always have to buy new tools or new accessories. You can, you can always make them. Um, here's the parting tool. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is test the parting tool because I've got this screw over here and this bolt and I want to, it, it's bent and I want to part it off. You know, I could use a hacksaw or something, but I got this parting tool. It's a good, good chance to learn and, uh, do something a little different. Let's take this out of here. This is how it comes packaged. I, I didn't buy the most expensive one, but again, I wanted to get one that I could replace the heads on or the, the uh, inserts and comes with a case and a red rubber cap just to protect the, the end. But it's your standard tooling. It's a half inch by three eighths and these inserts are replaceable. I've got, uh, it came with 10, I believe. So I should have plenty of these and I'm gonna go ahead and swap out this tooling because I wanna use this one to take off some threads or maybe even make, make the, the spiky part of, of our nail. Um, so let's change this out. Um, probably gonna need a different, there we go. So we're gonna change this tooling out. And we'll put our parting tool this one and again it's half by three-eighths so it fits in here get this snugged up and there we go so we're gonna bring this over I'm gonna pause here get you set up in the other tripod and I'll show you what we're dealing with oh before we do that let me show you the the screw we're talking about the bolt see it's it's bent it's the one i was working on the head facing it off so what i'm going to do is just part it off oh somewhere where the bend starts use the parting tool and then what we'll do is set an angle on the compound and i want to try to just make a, a a point you know just practicing seeing what we can do i'll bring you right back welcome back let's go ahead and get uh Get the parting tool mounted in here. We're just gonna want it pretty straight. Doesn't really matter for what we're doing because we're gonna get that snugged up and then we'll snug this up. Okay, bring this out. Bring it over, let's see if we're still lined up. It's pretty good, it is a bit high. Um, different type of tooling. So I'm gonna lower the parting tool. And grab a, see if this fits, it does. So I would rather have this lowered and I could use my dead center, I probably should, because you wanna get your, your tooling centered up so that it cuts through. So 
through all of the material. So, yeah, there we go. As you can see, we are really close, but just a, a touch high. Maybe it wouldn't matter for, uh, for, for cutting that, but I do wanna, since I can, I'm gonna go ahead and lower that. Well, of course I tightened it all down, didn't I? Okay, there we go. So that looks, I think that's just gonna work right there. Tighten this down. that in place first then we'll get this dead center out of the way just snug up this so it doesn't move and finally snug this tool post down there we go that's about as centered as as I'm gonna make it again this is just a just testing I think I'm gonna come right about in there We'll uh, get this. I've already had this chucked up and tightened down pretty good. Boy, it's bent really bad. I'm going to have to go farther. Oh, it's starting to storm. Let's turn this on. Let's slowly spin it and see. Yeah, you can really see how how out of out of whack that is. We're gonna need to come back farther. I'll just take all the threading off. And we'll just part that off. Tooling, obviously I got it too low, or um, maybe I should have left it right where it was. Uh, the dead center was a little bit, maybe it was a little off, so let me loosen this up again. Hmm. Again, all this is about learning for me. That's a little tight for me. See if I can't get this off over here. Got this a little bit too tight. I'll bring you right back. Okay, I went ahead and raised it up a little bit. Had to get some pliers to, to uh, loosen these two. But let's go ahead and try this again. If not, I mean this, it, it did part the tool. It's just, I, I don't want it. I want it to cleanly break off, so let's get this going.
there we go. We successfully parted off that bolt. Um, parting tool works well. I probably dulled it doing that, but uh, you just got to get it centered up. You can always come back and, and face it as well, which, you know, I plan on doing. But the next thing I want to do is just kind of, I want to make a spike. Why not? Um, and so what we're going to do is change the angle of our compound so that we can come across at a, a pretty steep angle. Um, I'll use the uh, the cross slide here to come back and forth, but I want to be able to come in and, and just make a nice point on the end of that. So I'm going to bring you back. That's I don't need to you know, bore you with setting that up, uh, but essentially what that means is we loosen up this top portion, get it at the angle that we want, and then we can bring this back and forth across there in order to cut that uh, that point. I'll bring you back. Okay, I got you set up. We're ready to make our pointy bit of our spike. Uh, sorry about the, the noise. Uh, we're getting quite a bit of rain right now. Let's see if I can show you here. There you go. It's pouring. Anyway, we need it. It's been really dry. So we'll get you set up here. We're just going to start trying to make a spike and, and get an angle. I'm going to be using this uh, top slide of the compound to come in and out at this particular. Uh, there is no set degrees or anything. You might even be able to see the jib issues I've talked about a little better in uh, past videos. I still haven't fixed it, but you can see it riding on that top dovetail. It just shouldn't be doing that. It should be flush with the dovetail. Let's get this spinning and start making the the spike. Cuts off. Go. And then we're going to bring this compound in, and it's going to bring it in at an angle. So hopefully we can making our point. I don't know if I should be using oil. Maybe I'll put a little bit on here. I don't know. Can't hurt. All right. We'll come back. We'll feed it in a little bit more. And we'll continue on. demonstration and get rid of these chips. Bring it in a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and lock this, this down so that it doesn't move so we get a clean, clean spike because it's, uh, you can see it kind of moving around the, the whole carry. look at this it it's really I mean it worked we got a nice point on there I do need to get this tightened up more because there's enough of a play 
where you can see as I'm coming in. I'm gonna try one more thing to get a smooth finish, and that's feed this with my drill. So let's bring this in a little bit more. Lock that, get it spinning, and then I'm gonna feed it in. I'll get some oil on there. And let's see if this is any better. better but anyway proof of concept I can power feed that with a drill if I need to get this out of the way for the purpose of this video and the demonstration um, that's a sharp point it isn't very uh, gentle of a slope like a real nail would be but I could certainly bring it out farther and, and get a, a longer spike this is an not a practical uh, spike but Let's get it out of the three jaw and we'll take a look at what we did. So as you can remember from before, and there is our spike. I'm gonna set you up in the other, the other stand for a summary and then uh, we'll call it a video. Okay, welcome back. Uh, well, this is just a summary. I was really just testing the parting tool and I wanted to start experimenting and practicing uh, with making just different parts and angles. Clearly, this is just playing around. This would be an impractical nail, but we made a nail. We faced off, we faced off the, the bent bolt threaded portion, popped off there nice, and then we came back and I didn't polish this up with any scotch bride or emery paper or anything. I, it's it's not too bad. It would I may come back later and just play around and try to make a more nail-like point on it. But for now, we were able to make a nice sharp point. We faced off the, the head previous videos and just, just still playing around to get to know the machine and the tooling. Um, the parting tool worked well. I do think the oil helps. Um, obviously, I don't know when to use oil, when not to use oil, still learning all of that. Uh, it did seem to cut a little bit better once I added the oil into the parting and in facing the, uh, the nail, I'll call it. Uh, but that's it. It's just kind of it's supposed to be a short video. It's probably dragging on a bit, but um, just more test cuts and testing different tooling that I purchased. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed and uh, hope to see you on the next video.